What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're gonna talk about Xbox Live on the Nintendo Switch. What? Now I know this dropped a few days ago and um, I wanted to cover it sooner but just been busy. So anyway, Xbox on the Nintendo Switch. What in the world is going on? Well, like I've said for many years, Nintendo does not compete with Microsoft and Sony. They, they're not, they're not, they're on a whole different ball game. Uh, Sony or the PlayStation and the Xbox clearly have a competition going, but Nintendo's playing their own game. Nintendo's not competing with them. Nintendo pretty much has everything they need and what they have, you can't find it anywhere else. Nintendo competes with themselves. They're not competing with other developers or other consoles. And so, um, you know, Mario Kart, Smash Bros, Mario Odyssey, Zelda, Splatoon, uh, all of the first party titles, uh, that's that's who Nintendo's competing with is themselves. So having uh, Xbox Live integration onto the Switch is uh, a move for cross-platform play. And that is something, you know, it's like this, okay? I have, uh, I have a Note and I have um, Verizon, okay? So me not being able to call someone on AT&T or someone that has an Apple iPhone would be so insanely stupid at this point. It'd be really stupid. Um, so uh, I would only be able to call people on Verizon and people that have a, a Samsung or, or a, a, an Android. That would be really dumb. So cross-platform play is going to be the thing of the future. There's no doubt about that. Sony has been very difficult in this department. Shockingly, Nintendo has been very open to it, which is uh, uh, really strange. But I think that's Nintendo's play to go, you know what? We're good with that, man. You know, uh, you know, you got games like Rocket League and stuff like that that are obviously on the Switch and on all the other consoles, plus PC and everything like that. So this is a, a move for the future. This is a good move for Xbox to go ahead and get a step ahead of the game. I, I, Sony's eventually going to have to come around to all of this cross-platform stuff. They're just going to have to because it's going to become a point where... Um, they're going to be the oddball out and it's going to be very, really bad PR for them. So I think this is great. I think this is awesome. Um, as a person that owns all of consoles and, and is a fan of all of them for different reasons, I'm completely cool with this. It is really like as much as I, I'm not surprised by it, it's still going to be pretty damn cool to kind of turn on my switch and have Xbox Live accessibility right there in front of me on my Nintendo system. That is kind of crazy uh, from a console peasant like myself that's kind of followed these for so many years. But yeah, I think this is cool, man. I think this is really awesome. Uh, big step for Nintendo, big step for Microsoft, and I guess Sony will come around whenever Sony decides to come around. But cross-platform gaming is the thing of the future. I'm happy about that. It's never made sense to me that people couldn't play the games as long as like when when we were playing you know modern warfare one and two and black ops one and two and somebody would have a 360 versus somebody having a ps3 and it was just so stupid to me that we couldn't play on these systems even though we had the same game it was really dumb it meant never made any sense to me and it feels like now we're moving to this point where cross-platform is going to be the standard moving forward and i'm happy about that so that's how i feel about it obviously there's still a lot of questions up in the air and we don't know the entirety of this move but that's how i see it so if you guys have more information or if you have more suggestions or if you have more theories let me know in the comments below you guys have a great day and we will talk to you later